Hi kids! Today we will learn more about friction. So let's start. We learned that friction is a force that resists motion whenever two surfaces are in contact. When the friction is less, the objects slip past each other easily and when the surfaces are rough, the objects does not move against each other easily. Example, you need friction between your shoes and ice to walk on it. You need friction between your hands and lid of the jar to open it. You need grip between your hands and handle of the bicycle to hold it firmly. You need friction between your shoes and paddles of the bicycle to paddle it. And you need no friction between you and the slide to enjoy the ride. You need no friction between the striker and the board to play. You need no friction between the ball and the surface for bowling. Now let's learn advantages of friction. Friction is very important while driving a car. Without it, a car would slid off the road. On a dry road, there is a lot of friction between the car tires and the rough road surface. And in winters, there is snow or ice on the road. That makes the surface of the road very smooth. And there is little friction between the tires and the road, because of which the tires may slip off the road. This is why we need winter tires. Winter tires have special grooves to increase the friction in snowy and icy conditions. Friction also produces heat. When we rub our hands, it produces heat, which warms our hands. Friction between our shoes and road helps us to walk. Without friction, we will slip or fall. Friction helps to prevent the tires from slipping on the road because wheels need friction to have grip on the road and move forward. This is the reason the tires have grooves to produce sufficient friction. Now, let's learn disadvantages of friction. Friction makes it difficult to slide heavy objects on the floor. Every machine has several parts that move together or rub against each other, because of which a lot of heat is produced in the machine and damages the machine. Friction causes damage to the tires of vehicles. It also damages soles of the shoes and many other things. So friction causes wear and tear. Now let's learn how we can reduce friction where we do not need friction. First of all, for this, the moving parts of the machine oiled or grease, and this is done to reduce the wear and tear in the moving parts of the machine due to the friction. Fine powders can also be used to make the surface smooth. Example, before playing car on board, we sprinkle talcum powder on the board to make the surface smooth. So kids, now you know what is friction and what are the advantages and disadvantages of friction. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!